Small businesses in Troy trying to recover from a rough weekend. They say that a 12 hour long power outage with restoration times that were being pushed later and later made it hard for them to keep their doors open. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno looking into what caused the outage and how city leaders there are trying to help. When power went out around 630 in the morning, they said uh, restoration should be between 830 and 10 in the morning. No big deal. You know, then all of a sudden it's two in the afternoon and then it's four o'clock. How do you how do you plan a business around that? Tony Buchanan says Saturdays are usually one of his busiest days for pizza delivery. So when the national grid outage hit 2000 Lansing Burke customers, one being his shop, it started a chain reaction that caused issues beyond not being able to sell slices. He had to close today too. The, where we get our product from lost business because now I'm not getting a truck tomorrow because I got to see what's going on with this stuff. Ed Doyne, owner of 41 Sports Bar, dealing with the aftermath as well. He had a retirement party scheduled for that night, and at one point, the estimated restoration time was 6 p.m., so he thought he was in the clear. And 6 o'clock came and went, and people were gathering, about 100 people, and we had no lights and no coolers. It's probably a, a $7,000 day that you know, we really rely on. According to National Grid, the outage was caused by an animal that made contact with their system, causing blown fuses and damaged equipment, followed by an additional equipment failure. Troy City Council President Carmela Mantello said while she understands sometimes power outages are because of unforeseen circumstances, she believes National Grid has an opportunity to make things right with these small businesses. This is not Grid's fault. Nobody's pointing the fingers, but they've been great community partners. Maybe there's something that Greg could do to partner with these small businesses. There is a claims process for customers who lose revenue at the responsibility of National Grid, but they don't typically reimburse for incidents like these caused by an animal. However, they say they will investigate all claims submitted. They also have some grant programs, but they tell me this incident doesn't qualify. Mantello is hoping in the future they can develop a program specifically for small businesses like Jimmy's and 41, who lost a full day without the ability to make precautionary plans. Maybe some positive will come out of this. Reporting in Troy, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.